Hey guys, today we'll be making some samosas. There's nobody that I know who does not like a nice spicy samosa. But these come in all shapes and sizes and even more kinds of stuffings. Today we'll be making a traditional Indian samosa which is vegetarian and has a spicy potato and pea mix. I remember growing up, this was a popular and a favorite breakfast in my household. So let's get started right now. First, let's get started and make our dough. We're gonna be doing a pretty basic dough with some flour, carom seeds, salt, and some ghee. So let's get started by first measuring out our flour. So in here, I have a cup of flour or maida. So now I'm gonna add in some carom seeds or ajwain. Now these look a bit like cumin seeds. They're in the same family. And you can learn more about this spice if you check out my series about spices called Let's Make It Spicy. And then a little touch of some salt. You don't have to add this. To be honest, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but it does add a little bit. Next, I'm gonna add in some ghee. I'm gonna be adding about two tablespoons. And now, just add in a little bit of water at a time and make a smooth, pliable dough. So there, our dough is ready. As you can see, it's smooth and really soft so we can really work well with this since it'll make it easy to roll it out. Now just set this aside in a bowl and cover it with a damp piece of cloth or paper towel. We want to let our dough rest for a bit so it relaxes and becomes even more softer, even more pliable. So at the end of the day, if you let it rest, it'll make your life much easier. So now turn on your pan on medium heat and let's start making our masala. So first get your pan hot and I'm going to be adding about two teaspoons of ghee. You can add any other oil such as olive oil, vegetable oil if you prefer. Now let this ghee melt. Now add in your cumin seeds and let these sizzle. You want to cook these out until they turn a nice reddish brown color and are super fragrant. Now I'm going to add in some ginger and some green chilies. You can adjust this according to your taste. If you don't want it too spicy, add lesser chilies. Now just cook this out until the rawness of the ginger is cooked away. And then lower the heat. And now we're gonna start adding some of our dry spices. So starting with a fourth of a teaspoon of garam masala, half teaspoon of red chili powder, a teaspoon of mango powder, and coriander powder. Add in your potatoes and just sort of break these up and give it a nice mix. We don't want to completely mash the potatoes, just sort of break them up and still have some little chunks to have a nice bite. Along with this, add in your peas. I also quite like the flavor of turmeric. I'm going to add some of that as well, which is completely optional. Now just give this all a really nice mix. This is simply starting to look beautiful. Love these colors going on. Now don't forget we haven't added salt yet. We're going to be doing that towards the end. Now we're not cooking these potatoes because they've been boiled and they're already cooked. Just sort of warming it up. Just letting all those spices meld and do their magic on our little mix here. Now let's add in some salt. Just adjust the seasoning according to your preferences and your tastes. Give it a quick taste. There you have it guys. So that's your delicious stuffing for the most amazing homemade samosas. Now we're gonna do the fun part. This is what some may consider what makes or breaks a samosa. Now here's your dough. Roll it out a bit and make some circles, some dough balls. Just rub it. See, I'm making a ball, just kind of dragging it around. Make this nice ball. Now flatten it down a bit and with a rolling pin, make a thin disc. Now, if you don't want to go too thin, Otherwise, when we stuff our samosas with our mix, 
It can tear. And we don't want that. Let's roll it out. Thin, but not paper thin. Now, take a knife and cut right down the middle. Take some water in your hands. Just brush this with your fingers or you can use a pastry brush and make this straight end wet. So let's put one end on the side. With this end, with the curly part facing you. One and two, two folds. Press the seam down, put it in your hand and that's your cone. Make sure you completely seal the seam. Now we're gonna start stuffing it without potato mix. Now make sure your potato mix is completely cooled down. Otherwise the heat can cause your dough to tear and break. Now add some of your potato mix right in there. Don't try to overstuff it since when you try to seal your samosa, it can tear. Starting from one end, start pressing these ends together. You can stop there, but to get the classic look of a samosa, take one end and the other with the other hand, fold it onto each other, just like that, and press this. This is going to help your samosa to stand. It's going to stand just like that. Now do the same thing with the remaining dough balls, and then I'll get into the frying part. So there you have it guys, my samosas are all ready. And now we're gonna start frying these up. So when you are frying your samosas, you need to follow a simple rule. You can't have the oil too hot, otherwise the pastry on the outside will get cooked, but it'll be raw on the inside. So what you wanna do is heat your oil on medium heat and gently and slowly fry your samosas. So now, gently add a piece. Gonna add another one. What you want to make sure of is that you do not overcrowd your pan. What this will do is bring the temperature of the oil down and it will take longer to cook your samosas. So now just gently cook these until they turn nice and golden brown. Now that guys is what I call a perfectly crisp and browned samosa. Now similarly fry up the rest of your samosas and then we can start plating. So there you have it guys. Don't those samosas look amazing? And I'm gonna dig into this right now. And while I do that, why don't you give me a like and a comment down below. Subscribe by clicking the link right over here. And hit the bell icon down below to get notifications when I put up a new video. Till then, I'll see you guys again on the next one.